Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Cities Guns and Modded Series. This is the River Unmapped. We're playing on SZD City. Welcome to episode 53. I hope you liked the previous episode where we did some, uh, was it highway interchange uh, adjustments? We're going to continue a little bit here, move around some of the assets that's causing some traffic. Uh, just keep in mind uh, when you're trying to do these traffic management things, it's a good idea to take your time in the beginning and look around what needs to be moved and for you to visualize in your head what you need to do before you do it. Uh, otherwise, it would be a pretty tough process. The thing that I kind of do is plan as I go also, but right now I'm moving things around so I can get a better picture of where I need to put stuff. I don't like how close these roads are together for this oil industry, so I'm placing them further apart. There seems to be a, uh, a lot of traffic in this area because of the imports and outports of oil. And because I, you see the four-way uh, road, which was a supposed to be the collector road, I uh, removed it from this part of the map, which made it, which made the entrance and exit of this area only one place. So. Here I'm having trouble uh, spacing out this area because the, uh, the terrain is all crooked. So I just put it on the side. Trying to make things look aesthetically pleasing. You'll see that I try to do some decorations later on to make sure everything fits. That bottom road, it didn't make sense to me. Um, it was the only way for one, the left side of the top side, the left side of the northern part of the map goes to the right hand side. That's why I have that uh, separation down there. I eventually remove it to fit everything else. Anyway, so here we are moving the different oil uh, refineries and storage areas to make sure they're evenly spaced. I think I moved these things around a couple more times before we get our final uh, look here. So that is the paper mill factory. I kind of want to put it somewhere else. It doesn't need to be inside a zoned area for uh, oil industry, so I put it in its own uh, place. These buildings are kind of big, and because the products need, there's different types of products that need to be uh, transported to this area. It's a high traffic area, so I kind of want to put the paper mill somewhere um, centralized and somewhere where it doesn't cause a lot of traffic. So you see that road on the left hand side, that little bridge, has a lot of traffic. So I'm, I'm eventually going to change that around. We have a four-way intersection here. Once I remove that, it alleviated some of the traffic, but it removed some of the access to the top part of the mess. Now that part is an exit or the dead end. I wasn't so sure about this. Uh, put the incinerator plants on the right hand side. They're a little close to the highway. 
And if you notice, the left hand side of the highway is not going anywhere. So anything that needs to go into the city isn't being uh, properly uh, used. So here we go. Repositioning the paper factory. Looks pretty good. Well, actually I think I move it a little bit later. So here I'm constantly thinking about how to fit these puzzle pieces. It's playing like Jenga. That little area on the left hand side next to the uh, refineries is kind of bugging me. So I'm thinking about moving that. But all in all, I, I think it's starting to look okay. So I moved everything down so that I could open up this area. Sometimes you gotta not be afraid to delete. So I think I moved the firehouse and a single post office down here. The post office, believe it or not, is the, uh, so that air, that recycling center that we thought was on the southern part of the map is actually a post office depot. Uh, thanks to the person who, uh, corrected me. All right. This thing here. So, a perfect right angle. If you make a square, then you bisect it, I guess it's called. You can create a 45 degree angle. That's what I tried. And I believe I make a Y fork here. It's kind of interesting. Interesting thing. And I make a one way road just going up that way. Now that I'm looking at this, it doesn't really make sense. So the paper factory is going up there. And I move these uh, oil stuff over. You'll see you later on the, in the game. So if you're playing without audio because you're recording a YouTube video, sometimes I forget that these these audio cues, like the power is not, or there's a thunderstorm and the power goes out. There's a, a little chime that happens in the game and obviously I miss because I am not listening to the volume or not listening to what's going on. So here we go. We're putting these uh, uh, storage, oil storage canisters and evenly placing them around and eventually I fence off this area. I kind of want to integrate more of the uh, incinerators over. So here I encountered a weird glitch. Whenever I tried to connect the power lines here, it would disappear. Like if it's of varying heights on the on the bridge area, it removes the uh, the connection for some reason. Look at this. You see that? It just removes the center thing. I don't really understand what's going on here. <laughs> Let me know if you guys know why that happens. I I can't figure it out, so I just reroute the uh, the lines, but. That's, that's a little bit of disconcert. Okay, here we are. I eventually move the uh, power uh, those things, incinerators. Yeah, make them vertical. Incinerators require garbage, of course, to uh, to function. So uh, I put them near the recycling centers, which are up there. Hey, 
It's looking uh, all right. It's not too bad here. What what does bother me is there's no way there's no uh, connection on the uh, incoming traffic from the hot the, the main highway. But uh, I'll, I'll do that in a, a later episode or the next episode. Here we're trying to put some pathways. Uh, there's a problem that I used to encounter with creating uh, industrial areas. I didn't really put any pathways or parks or anything like that. Or uh, if I did, they were just not placed in a in a stylish way. So I'm trying to alleviate that. So I'm gonna fence out the area. I'm watching a lot of people uh, or experts at this game do their decorations and uh, I've been trying to incorporate that into my playthroughs. And though uh, the computer is showing its age, I, I did do some graphical updates or what do you call it, graphic driver upgrades to be able to, uh, to take advantage of some of the things that my age graphics card does. Uh, so, so it's alright. Anyway, this is all the time that we have. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you do like the channel, please like this video uh, so that we can have some more content. Follow or subscribe and ding that bell. Uh, I'll see you in three days. This is John Nezadam signing out. Take care, be safe, and remember, you are essential.